Hi, I'm Jeremy Solomon from Solomon Exam Prep. Notice filing is a topic that often confuses people studying for the Series 63 Uniform Securities Agent State Law Exam or the Series 65 Uniform Investment Advisor Law Exam or the Series 66 Uniform Combined State Law Exam. Many assume that notice filing is the same as state registration. It's not, and securities licensing exams do not treat them as such, despite their similarities. So, what is notice filing, and how does it work? To understand the concept of a notice filing, it's important to know a bit about the entities to which it applies, federal covered advisors and federal covered securities. First, let's look at federal covered advisors. A federal covered advisor is an SEC registered advisor that offers investment advice in exchange for compensation. Any advisor with assets under management of $110 million must register as a federal covered advisor. When it comes to registration, advisors are not subject to double registration, meaning that an advisor registered with the SEC does not need to register with any state, and an advisor that is required to register with a state does not register with the SEC. For federal covered advisors, this makes life easier because a federal covered advisor only needs to go through the rigorous registration process one time. Instead of registering in a state, a federal covered advisor lists any states in which it will either have an office or more than five retail clients in a 12-month period on the form ADV that it files with the SEC. The SEC then gives notice to the administrator in any state noted on the advisor's form ADV that the advisor intends to do business in its state. This is a notice filing, a simple heads up to the state administrator that the advisor will be doing business in its state. Depending on the requirements of the given state, the advisor may be asked to file additional paperwork and pay a fee before offering advice to clients in the state. But, happy day, the advisor gets to skip the state registration process. Now let's discuss notice filing for federal covered securities. What is a federal covered security? Well, many of the securities that the average investor is likely to own are federal covered securities. For example, any security traded on an exchange like the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, or NASDAQ is a federal covered security. Additionally, securities issued by investment companies that are registered under the Investment Company Act of 1940, such as mutual funds, ETFs, and closed end funds, are federal covered securities. A federal covered security must be registered with the SEC, but the issuing company is not required to register it with the state. Instead, the issuer must note on its registration statement any state in which it intends to sell the security. The SEC then notifies the administrator of each noted state of the issuer's intention to sell in that state. Sound familiar? It should be, because this is also a notice filing a simple shout out by the SEC to the state administrator that the security will be sold in its state. Typically, the issuer is then required to submit its SEC registration documents to the administrator and pay a filing fee, but it does not need to go through the demanding state registration process in order to sell its securities in the state. So it's actually pretty simple. A federal covered security or advisor is registered once with the big boys at the SEC. After that, it's all smooth sailing. No need for further registration, just a simple notice given to states in which the security will be sold or the advisor will offer investment advice. Now a couple of practice questions. First, a true-false. A firm registered with a state as an investment advisor does not make notice filings with that state. True or false? True. When it comes to registration, advisors are not subject to double registration. 
notice filings to the state are only made by federally registered investment advisors. Spencer Investments is a federal covered investment advisor doing business in Oregon. The administrator in Oregon requires a notice filing. Does this mean Spencer Investments must register in Oregon as well as with the SEC? A. No. What it means is that Spencer Investments needs to request that the SEC send the Oregon administrator a copy of Spencer's Form ADV and Spencer needs to pay a notice filing fee to the Oregon administrator. B. Yes, Spencer does business in Oregon, so it must register in Oregon. C. Spencer Investments does not have to register in Oregon, but does need to fill out and file all the paperwork for the registration so the Oregon administrator is, quote, on notice regarding Spencer's business in Oregon. D. Yes, the Oregon requirements for registration may be more stringent than the SEC's, so Spencer must comply with them to do business in Oregon. The correct answer is A, no. What it means is that Spencer needs to request that the SEC send the Oregon administrator a copy of Spencer's Form ADV, and Spencer needs to pay Oregon a notice filing fee. A notice filing for an investment advisor is not a registration, but it means the registration papers Spencer Investments filed with the SEC are shared with the Oregon Administrator, and the Oregon Administrator receives a filing fee. If you're studying for the Series 63, Series 65, or Series 66, you need to know about notice filings and state registrations. Solomon Exam Prep has helped thousands pass the Series 63, Series 65, Series 66, and other securities licensing exams. Thank you.